Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome to part 3 of the Aravaki campaign. And this is where we left off last time, we are fighting this tribe here. So let's click the assault button and begin. And I'm hoping that the pink units will be gone. I have deleted every single mod that I've been using, so sh hopefully there shouldn't be any problem. I'd also like to take this opportunity while the game is loading to thank Guardsman77. He left a pretty good comment in the first part of this series, letting me know that the Scutari, the unit which is in the Aravaki tribe, uh, they were like the Roman principes, and the Romans basically adopted uh, the Scutari way, and many of their weapons, such as the Gladius, are based on the Iberian tribes. So that was pretty cool, learn something new every day, and here we are, and it looks like the pink units are gone, so fantastic news. Look at that, we can see all the units in all their glory. And they do look fantastic, don't they? Ooh. Let's have a little quick look. He doesn't look friendly, does he? Okay. Enough of uh, admiring a load of Iberian men. Let's get the some of the artillery on the right flank, I think. Nice little hill to work from. Uh, see, this hill's going to be in the way. Probably put the second... Yeah, I'll we'll put them all up there, I think. Probably work out for the best. What have we got? We've got some slingers, which are in a pretty good position, but they're happy with that. So I'll group them up into one group. What do we have? We have Noble Fighters, Scutari, Spearmen. Yeah, I'm happy to have all of these into one line and to group them up into one group. Start the battle straight away. And I want you to a quick look at their special abilities. I'm going to right click some of these. Get Frenzy going. Give my units that little bit of boost. But they're going to use them automatically as well. And my enemy does have reinforcements coming on the left flank over here. Some Iberian cavalry, some tribesmen. So we are going to have to be careful. However, they are slowly marching towards me. And I'm going to take this opportunity to start using my units. Not quite in range, that's a bit of a shame. It shouldn't be too long before they start firing. Once we get them to that little centre of the battlefield with all the brushes over here, then we should be okay. But I'm going to get this. Actually, we're going to get these onto the right click. I'm going to put this onto right click as well. I'm going to put explosive round on, and I'm going to control this myself for the beginning of this battle at least just get a few shots away and that's going to fall slightly short unfortunately oh dear okay let's try and get one a little bit higher if possible maybe maybe oh looks good there we go excellent work so we, we I think we found our range just about there try and get a few shots off a little bit short this, this time but my other two ballistas are doing work as well, which is fantastic. I just want to weaken them before they get to my line. I know that explosive round isn't as deadly as a standard shot, but I'm hoping that this will decrease their morale. I do think it does a decrease. Ooh, missed. Just missed there as well. Let's go a little bit... Well, there, I'd say. Uh, ooh, we got the general, I think. Yes, we got the general. Some some blood effects there, but the horse didn't go down, unfortunately. Now, one of you guys also left me a comment asking what difficulty this is. This is very hard difficulty. Uh, I, have, I have stated it on the playlist. I th think I forgot to put it in the description, but... Oh, dear. Okay. Cavalry is coming to attack me on the flank over here. I'm going to turn my general. I think I'll turn my general to there. I'm going to put the Scutari behind that second line as well. I'm going to charge with the general. And I'm also going to inspire the general unit. Get them to attack there. The rest of these slingers can do some damage for me. They are currently firing anyway, which is good. Let's zoom in a little bit, get to see some of the action up close. So here we are. It's my Scutari fighting the uh, 
Iberian Cavalry. Game's looking a lot better. What do you guys think? Do you think it looks better? I think it's definitely an improvement. Um, in the first episode, we definitely saw an improvement with the, uh, the AI. Because I usually play on very hard and... The AI did a pretty good job against me, to be fair. In my opinion, at least. We're going to actually smother this unit now with those two. And we're going to bring this unit... We're going to bring them all in now. Let's just charge them. Let's get this Scutari going. There we go. This is excellent work. I'm enjoying this. We've done a good job on this left flank now. Bring our slingers forward. Let's get our slingers to focus on their slingers. Let's get the spearmen in. Haven't engaged them yet. Get our line sorted. Get some sort of order going. Attack them there. Let's see, we're doing well. I think the ballista's doing most of the work for me, to be fair. Scootari! It's just charged on the mountain. We've got a good battlefield advantage with this hill. Bring all the slingers in. This should be fairly straightforward now. Famous last words though. Let's bring everything forward. Spearman! I wonder if I can get a range on them from here. I'm going to try it anyway. Let's see. Maybe, maybe not. Ooh. Not quite, unfortunately. I'll try one more. Uh oh. There we are. So I think we'll get back to the actual fight in now. Let's just charge everything in. Be ultra aggressive. If in doubt, give him a clout. I think we should be okay now. They've only got the general unit left. I want to completely swarm the general. And my ballistas are going to get some experience. Let's have a look at the experience. 78 kills, 81 and 64. Thought they did better than that, unfortunately. 39, 235, that's pretty good. I'm going to end the battle there. So a decisive victory. Only lost 178. A much better battle than previously. And hopefully the Carpetani tribe shall be defeated quite easily now. And we can take their lands. So the battle was nearly 6 minutes long. I'm going to release captives because I want better relations with other tribes. We've got some military traditions which we can use now. So first off, plus eight morale for all units doing ambush. Night attacks, weapon damage by all missile, sword arms. We're gonna go with sword arms because I know we do have some sword units in our force. Um what do we want here? Can in Unit recruitment cost and authority. That's what we want there. So there we go. I think this army can probably attack here. For some reason. Oh, it's because we're in there. I'm not quite sure, to be honest. These are weakened. These are not quite weakened. Could attack them. Only 45% chance. What about assassination? 37%. Mm, not quite. What about the, s the actual town itself? We can poison the wells. We'll do that, hopefully. There we go. So, the uh, garrison shall be weakened. Oh, increase in rank. Let's increase him then. We can have a plus eight line of sight, military intelligence. We can have plus two authority, plus ten chance of critical success. I'm going to go with that. I like a successful spy. And the garrison now shall be weakened, and there we are, only 133 out of 240, and 228 out of 640. Shall be quite easy to take this shall be now. For, for some reason we can't quite get there this turn, but that's fine, we can wait until next turn. We don't have much money at the moment, but we do have nearly 2,000 coming in next turn. I'm going to take this opportunity to look at the diplomacy though. Let's see. They like us. They like us. 
these. Oh, they got quite a bit of land over here. You are welcome. Also, my they are willing to trade. What about paying me? No, just trade. A long aggression pact. But I don't plan to go up there yet, so yeah. I accept for now. I can get trade them at a later date. Ooh, I don't want to get trade with them because I'm probably going to want to take that out. The Oritani. And Carthage owns this by here, so I'll probably be, be seeing Carthage soon. We can actually see Carthage now. I want to be on their good side, don't I? So they're at war with Emporion, Rome, Massilia, and the Massaili. We'll leave it for now. We'll end turn. And we shall see if anything interesting happens in the end turn phase. But also, thank you very much for the first two videos, the comments I've had, and the likes. It's I, know, I, I do appreciate it very, uh, an awful lot. Ooh, what's this? Non aggression pact? I don't think so. I plan to take you out, so no. I'm afraid. Increase in rank. Oh, my, my war maiden, of course. Where is my war maiden? I think it's in this army. Let's see. Do, do. Nope, this one? Yeah, this one. And we want to. Cunning. Authority, performing all actions, critical success, all actions. Zeal? Yeah, we'll go with that. And we're going to attack this city. And we c why can't we attack? This is weird. Oh, is this my spy? Do I need to move my spy or something? Ah! Oh. <laughs> my own spy was stopping me. Um, this should be a pretty easy battle, but I am going to show it. I want to show my capture of my first city. But yeah, like I was saying previously, thank you very much for the comments and all the likes in my first two parts. It does mean a lot to me and it does really motivate me and helps me keep going with making my videos. So thanks a lot and long may it continue. So dry conditions, that's fine. And they've sallied out, so they're going to fight me in the field, which is a big mistake in my opinion. I'm not even going to group my units properly. I have faith in most of my units. Let's look at the speech. Look at them. Huzzah! That was a good speech, I think. Not quite medieval two standard speech, but it was pretty decent nonetheless. Let's get these grouped up and let's get them on to that. Let's get all these freaks onto frenzy. Warriors already. Scutari. I can actually play defensively with these, I think. Yeah, go defensive. My front line would probably retreat behind this line. These troops, they're all going to be grouped up anyway, into shield. One of the units is routing already, and I'm going to actually use this one now. Get them on quick reload. Quick reload as well. Going to go with explosive round again. Same tactic as last time, it's going to try and take some pot shots at them. Oh, that's terrible. Oh my. It's a shame. It's hoping to do a better job than that. But they will see. Ah, oh, damn it. I really should have put my glasses on for this, I think. Um, but they. That looks a lot better. Oh, death. Death and destruction. Ooh, sugar. Look at this cavalry. Quick. Oh, no. <laughs> right, let's. Uh, Let's stop this cavalry quickly. No, I don't want to lose my ar my artillery. Send them all in. <laughs> no, I don't want to lose them. That was sloppy by me. They've completely gone for my ballistas and yeah, that was my fault. We still should have enough though, shouldn't be a problem. I may want to push them up sooner though, just in case they get to my artillery before I intend. And these should take them easily. Ballista! Ballista. 
Oops, what have I done? Press the wrong button, I think. I have indeed pressed the wrong button. There we go. Back to normal. Let's try and trip up. Oh, that was beautiful. <laughs> that was beautiful indeed. Let's try and trip up the cavalry. That's what I was about to say. Got some troops coming in over here. It's a terrible shot. Let's go back to the action. Shield men. Shield men. Let's get the inspiration going. Oh, my general. As expected, we've taken this. I've actually lost one unit of ballistas, so... Yeah, that's a shame. As they would say in Shogun 2, Shameful display! Let's get explosive round going. I want them to focus on them. I also want these to focus on them as well. Let's get all my slingers to focus on their slingers as well. And these units of infantry, which I haven't engaged yet, are to engage them over there. Bring them in to there, and this battle is definitely won. Apart from this little Iberian cavalry, there's only three of them left. They shouldn't take too long to take out, though. There we go, they're gone. This unit's about to go. They've routed over here, and the battle is won. So let's fast forward it now. Oh, don't need to. There we go. Decisive victory. Lost 269. I probably could have lost not nobody in that battle, but I was a little bit sloppy, unfortunately. And the battle duration is 4 minutes and 8 seconds. The most kills looks like it was my ballistas. I think it was my ballistas. Didn't quite see it in time. I'm going to occupy. So we have taken our first settlement in this DLC campaign for the Aravaki. Thank you very much. Stub to the neck. See you in hell. Faction destroyed. Tolitum, right, so we want to upgrade this to a barbarian village straight away, I think. We're also going to bring this force. Let's see, this is, this is what we're going to take next. Libisoa. So I'm going to take this army to the border. Me as well. Ooh, who's this? What the hell? They're on my land. They're trespassing. How dare they? Are we at war with them? Vetones. We're on good relations, actually, so what are you doing in my lands? Ah, oh, they must have been there to take out, um... Yeah, they were there for the previous owner of the settlement, but... They're probably... If they... If, they, if they're very nice, they probably will... Move away from my land. I hope. These troops... Ooh. I don't have enough money to upgrade all of them. I'll upgrade a few of them. Go only upgrade that many. Our money's gone right down now. We are only going to get 340 next time around. I think two armies is enough for this faction though. We have 13 here and we are replenishing, and we have 16 here and replenishing. I have three ballistas. Do I have any in this army? Yes, I have two. So I got enough ballistas. I got too many slingers in this army though, so I will need to get a few infantry units and perhaps another unit of cavalry as well. But anyway, I've been Dragonheart. I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you all enjoyed watching this episode. Until next time, goodbye.